Hey guys, in this video we will be looking at the APC Easy UPS lineup. This is the 1000 VA model. Unfortunately for me this was a huge disappointment because I thought that all APC UPS devices have a USB cable so that I can plug it in to my NAS and have it safely power off during a power outage within the uh, runtime of the UPS device. However, none of the easy UPS lineup devices have that feature, so you can't use it for that purpose. I will leave a link uh, above and down below to my next uh, unboxing video with the APC backup series lineup which I will use for my NAS device. For those of you who are buying the UPS for a different use case like uh, powering up other devices which don't need or benefit from that feature like uh, routers and network gear, let's jump into the unboxing. In this video we will be having a look at the APC Easy UPS lineup. So this is an uninterruptible power supply which has a battery inside giving you power when there is a power out outage. It also has surge protection and automatic voltage reg regulation. So the reason why you would want to have a, a UPS for your hardware, it will protect your hardware from power surges uh, which could cause your gaming rig or, or server to break during the power surge or for example a NAS device would benefit from a UPS by giving it battery power during a power outage. Uh, for example this one is calculated at 65 minutes runtime. Easy UPS lineup has devices ranging from uh, 500 VAs to 3000 VAs. Uh, the VA voltage amps number doesn't tell the user that much, but nowadays the UPS manufacturers also have the the watts rating on it, which indicates how much load you can give to the device. So if you would have um, a gaming rig which is consuming up to 600 watts, you could plug that in on, on this device. This device has uh, four uh, Shuko outlets but the lineup also has devices with other plug types. The automatic voltage regulation boosts low voltages up to 18% and trims high voltages by 15%. So battery recharge time is six to eight hours. Um, this model has uh, four outlets. There are models with more outlets also available. The weight is around 5.7 kilograms. We'll leave a link in the description for battery runtime. Here we have some examples on the APC website, which I will leave in the link in the description, has a calculator for that. Uh, so if you have some very low power devices like a network gateway for 10 watt, watts, the runtime would be 150 minutes with a PC, for example, plus notebook plus not network gateway with 180 watts consumption it would have a runtime of only 10 minutes Next, let's unbox the device so it has some warranty information a user manual in a few languages some safety information it has a power cord for plugging in the device uh, for different countries there are different plug types. In the manual we can see that this uh, BV1000i model has a 12 volt 9 amp hour lead acid battery in it. Dimensions of the unit so kind of comparing it to my hand you can see it like a large extension cord and yeah, well, the, the height is, is also quite significant. The recharge time for the battery is six to eight hours. And here we have some instructions for putting the device on. And uh, here we can see the different plug types, which this device, or which the different variations of, of this, this device has. So I have the Shuku model and there is a, a circuit breaker 
on the side of the device for the Shoko model. Let's plug this in device in to power next. Uh, as preparation, the instructions say that you need to plug this battery connector in. So you let's pull it out and then push it in here. Now the battery should be connected. Then let's plug in the device. You can hear it made a sound. The power on indicator is not lit, so let's press the button. Now it's powering on. And it's starting to charge the battery. Let's test plugging in this current charger. Sure, we get power out of it. It's charging the phone. More thing to note from the manual is that the battery typically lasts for three to five years. So you will need to replace the device uh, from time to time. Uh, if this video was helpful for you. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if it was. And also consider subscribing for my future tech related content. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.